Good evening, friendos. It's time for Quest for Semi-Glory. We're starting a new game tonight. This is The Messenger, uh, one recommended to me by Firetron, so we're going to give it a go. I had already kind of had my eyes on this a while back when it was first released, back in, so I guess, sometime in 2018, huh? Um, but then it got buried by other games, so uh, here we are coming back to it. I think I dialed in the audio already. That's yeah, fine. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Might be too loud, and if it's too loud, we'll just turn it down some more. But hey, let's go. Let's play The Messenger. Start us a new game. I I think this is pretty... Oh, jeez. I gotta enter a name. I think this is pretty close to uh, Ninja Gaiden. So I did like Ninja Gaiden. OG back on NES was quite fun, uh, even if it was extremely difficult and unfair and had jerk birds all over the place. But hey, what are you going to do? Uh, my name is Mr. Bond. Yes, I am sure. Let's go. Let's see what we got. Sick music already. Okay. We are we are a ninja. <laughs> Supposedly. Yeah, that's extremely loud. We're gonna have to turn the music down, I think. No mention this so-called Western hero. Training used to be fun, all I know is memorized for in prophecies, demon army, this and magic skull, that nothing's happened in centuries. So why are we still hiding? Just leave this place and go explore. I hear you. Go explore. History lesson. Oh boy. Fucking great. <laughs> Another lecture. Okay, can I pause just a hot second and turn this music down? As much of a jam as it is. Let it at least show up. Yeah, okay. Alright, hold up a second. That is extremely loud, even at three bars. How's that? That's still extremely loud. One bar it is. That's better. Okay. Okay, yeah, this is this is Ninja Gaiden. All right, so not quite like you're married to your jump Ninja Gaiden. You get a little bit of air control, quite a bit of air control actually. All right, what else we got? We got a sword, because of course we do. Fucking rad as hell. All right, what else we got? Uh, y and B do nothing. Triggers, bumpers. Okay, all right, pretty basic. Jump and slash, man. Jump and slash, man. I, did you have any air control in normal ass Ninja Gaiden? I feel like you didn't have very much. One time, it's usually a new course. Just your cloud step ticky. Jump, jump, hit, jump. All right. What are we fucking? Oh, I see. We got somewhat of a double jump going on already. I'm cool with that. All right, cool. We can chain them together and shit. Look at this guy trying to be all smooth. Guess what? I'm faster, idiot. <clears throat> Look at the to grace us with their presence. What do you mean? Like there was like half a dozen dudes behind me. I'm not the one that showed up the latest. Fucking smarmy ass teacher dude. Have I done my reading? I don't know. I've read all his dialogue so far. <laughs> all we do is rot in his hideout anyways. He's got a point. See, look at how prepared I am, though. I've got one hand on my blade just in case shit gets real. Everybody else is just like, oh, no, nothing's gonna happen. That is the importance of blah, 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 blah. Let me show you that the threat of the demon army is very real, and should they... Ah, very good. Okay. See? Now I'm the one that's ready, because I'm ready to fucking draw my blade. Just all the rest of you just, just stand, around, stand around like idiots. All wrong, Western Hero is supposed to save us. So yeah, watch out, look out! Oh, they got fucking owned, idiots! I feel like there was a secret here, but now nah, whatever. Wow, see, look at that. Look at all that training, really paid off, huh? Oh, see, so don't go, you, you're not ready. Oh, I'm not ready, huh? Well, who's the only one that's fucking still standing? Like, come on, what do you mean, not ready? Fuck you. Oh, wow, look at this guy, though. Oof, okay, maybe I'm not ready. Really all I've got? Well, I mean, the only one still on my feet, so I guess, yeah, huh? Fair to die, uh, I don't know. Oh, uh, yeah. Impossible. Oh no. Oh, hey, it's the Western here. Fucking shows up late. I guess he's fashionably late, right? So here he comes. Throw oh, bum bum bam boom bam. Oh damn. That's, that's fucking sick. Yeah, keep an eye on this. Certainly, uh-huh. Okay. 
Yeah? Yeah, that's your blessing. Uh, so make sure you the Autumn Hills. Oh yeah? Sounds like a fucking challenge to me. Let's go. Also, can I borrow your bow and or arrows, sir? <laughs> uh. Got here way too late. Yeah, damn right you got here way too late. Stupid piece of shit. Hey, look, the most capable around here have a task of the utmost importance. Take a scroll and carry it across the island. I need to reach Glacial Peak Summit where three sages will be waiting. Who are you and why is the scroll important? Find well, answers along the way. Head for the village gate now. Shroud of Night will be the only protection to make... Uh, my only protection? I have a sword. I'm pretty sure that counts as a fucking... Oh, it's a title drop already! We're the messenger, I get it. Hell yeah, we've got the scroll. Cool. Can we read it? I want to read it. What's so damn important that I need to be the one carrying this? Where's my inventory? I want to read this scroll. There we go. Oh, it doesn't let me read it. It's just like, oh, fuck you. You don't get to read. Alright, well, whatever. Alright. Well, we'll see where this goes. We have done it. It is... Oh, jeez. Wow. Nightfall is quick. Okay. Although I gotta say, like, running back and forth with your hand just, like, tipped over your shoulder. Like, tipped back over your shoulder, and then your other one in front of your face. Like, that's terrible for balance. That's not a good idea. Not a great idea. Oh, look at this guy. <laughs> Wow, what a... oof. Yeah, this, this is tough. Alright, that, that dude's just gonna... You're just gonna walk forward? Okay, he's gonna give me a, a second to, to... to fucking land there, that's good. Oh. oh, hey, look at that! Can I duck? I can duck. Can I slash and duck? Hell yeah, I can slash and duck. Cool. Go. Yep. Oh. <laughs> Womp. Watch that first step. Oh, okay. Was I supposed to die? Probably. Hmm. What happened? I almost died just- well, I did die just there, but then I disappeared, and now I reappeared. <laughs> Uh huh. My name is Quarble. Hey, Quarble. You never would have met had you any skills. Oh, jeez. Wow. Okay. Fucking harsh, Quarble. I have a magic ring that allows me to control space and time. Okay, cool. Can I borrow that for like a hot second? I promise I'll bring it back. When you're about to die, I'll appear to stop everything and teleport you back to the latest checkpoint. Okay. In universe explanation, checkpoints. Very good. What's the catch? Well, for one, you will still feel agonizing pain every single time. Okay, all right. No, fair. Also, I'm keeping track of your debt in my little notepad. So I'll stick around to steal your loot until either we're even or I am bored. <laughs> I mean, I can let you die if you prefer. Nah, no. Okay, no. We have a deal. I see eye to eyes. Ah, I get it, because he's got the only one eye. Very good. Neat. Alright, see, you know, I can, I can, I can deal with a good, oh, he's stealing all my money because I died, right. Okay, you know what? That's fair, I guess. That's fair. I guess that's fair. No, like, why is my debt not paid? I guess that explain that's like the in universe ouch. That's like the in universe explanation of not like double counting the money I get then. From when I died last. That's cool. I, I, I can I can get down with that. So now he disappeared because we did the thing. Yeah, I get you. Neat. Oh, sick, look at this. Look at this space between worlds, illusion of Gaia ass bullshit. Ah, messenger, I wasn't expecting you so soon. What is this place? It's the shop. Well of course it's the shop. Like a shopkeeper? Uh, yes. 
<laughs> so Mr. Caracal will be venturing, blah, 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 blah. I need to just take the scroll to the top of a faraway mountain where the three sages from my order will be waiting for you. It's way too much text for one dialogue box. Oh, you just keep going eastwards and make sure you grab blah, 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 and use them to upgrade your abilities, yada, yada, yada. First one's on the house. Sick. Well, that's very kind of this not shopkeeper looking motherfucker. Climbing claws. As you the walls, you may to stick to them. Cool. Need anything? Yes, I would like to upgrade. Uh, 40. Okay, 40 bucks. Uh, soon, soon concealed arm guards make you more resistant, plus one HP. Attack and attack and you destroy enemy projectiles. You can even cloud step off them. Cool. Uh, well, we've got five ish health. We don't need any more. Anything? Uh, let's chat. What do you, what do you want to chat about? Uh, climbing claws. Tell me about them. Uh, that's against the walls to cling to them. Climb at your leisure. Makes sense. Okay. So I John Guyton. <laughs> ah, yes. Our good buddy, John Guyton. Yes, this is a blind playthrough. No spoilers, no hints, no nothing, please. Thank you. Who's John Guyton? Never mind, just an acknowledgement. <laughs> Ninja Gaiden. I get it. What do you want to chat about? What is this place? Seriously though, where are we? Curious, where are we? Curious are we? Yes, I am curious. In time, you'll want to come to realize that the question is not where, but when. Ah, oh, yeah. Time travel and shit. That's it? <laughs> you still knew this, but you have to be pretty naive to expect anything other than cryptic information. Yeah, okay, that's fair. Go back into the action. Anyways, just buy a health grade or something. Be on your way. Well, I bought the... What did I just buy? The thing that lets us slash the projectiles and whatever. Uh, any stories? Here's one for you. Once the servant didn't know how to read. They came and his master asked him to read something or and you fly. I'm sorry, my lady, I can't read. Fly immediately got him fired. Uh, so he went out in the streets looking for a tea house to relax and accept the bad news and he couldn't find any. Reckoning there's probably wasn't the only one, blah, 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 blah. So he opened up his own. They picked up and he built more and more and became rich. And his account asked to review a piece of documents, which he replied he didn't know how to read. Account and he couldn't believe, blah, 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 blah. Imagine where you would be if you could read. I don't know exactly where I would be. I would be a servant. The end. Good story. <laughs> uh, well, seem to appreciate you sharing some clever material for your next party as soon as you move along. Okay, alright. Uh, we already spent all our shit, so let's get on out of here. Take a look around. Oh, what's in here? Don't touch the cabinet. I'm gonna touch the cabinet. Yeah, it's off limits, and we'll play touch it a third time. Oh? Hell yeah. Well, I mean, you got this thing just sitting over here, and you're not doing anything to stop me from touching it. No skeleton, huh? That's the first thing somebody says when there's a skeleton. Won't touch. Empty anyways. Well, let me see. Make me lock it. I should put that here as a good use in the outside world. I don't know. Save humanity? I don't know. Well, you said we're, like... When are we? Like, I, I feel like we're between space and time here, so I don't... doesn't matter how much time I waste here. Touch that again, you'll have to sit through my boring story. That sounds cool, let's go. Warning you, it's boring. Oh, really? Philosophical, okay? Even remove your ability to skip ones. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a pretty good threat. But I want to hear it anyways. Last warning. Better make sure you have some time ahead of you if you're gonna touch that again. You asked for it. Let's say... Ah, uh, <laughs> you can't... You really can't skip it. It's funny. Oops, I skipped that one. That's right. He's looking at his concept of happiness. Everyone seems to look at it, blah, 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 blah. Okay, nobody can explain happiness. And the crack of code to everyone has goals. So you think, blah, 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 blah. We're not sure you feel eternal bliss. Love or acceptance. Others simply hope to follow the world sign of the kick. <laughs> sitting here at the end of time, being visited by countless travelers, came to realize something very important. Goals don't make people happy. They defer happiness onto the future, to when the goal will be achieved. Only fail because once you reach your goal, you are not the same person you were when you set out to achieve it. And what's more, your mindset is to chase something instead of enjoying what you had. Uh, well, okay, that's not wrong. There you have it. Happiness is not a goal or a state, it's a system. You optimize your environment and cherry pick the people around you. Every day, you're just stoked to live your own life. You don't need to defer any joys because you optimize the present moment. Hmm. I don't know about that. 
I don't know whether that was cheesy and insightful or even just annoying, but I need to optimize my own life, and that implies that you stopped trying to open my cabinet. So I really hope I bored you to death. Oh yeah? Well? <laughs> ah. Ah, okay. Did we just loop, do loop around? Yeah, we just looped around. Alright, well that was a fun story, though. Like, hey, I can get down with a fun story. Alright, so we got the things that we can climb up now. Very good. Ah, oh, we can fast climb, too. Neat. Alright, well, it's no, like, fucking... It's no Dead Cells wall jump slash wall run, but it's something. Hold on a second. Okay, we can go back. That's good. Is there something off to the left there? Aw, oh, no. get one little bit for everything we kill. Looks like, oh, look at that motherfucker. Yeah, here, is that considered a checkpoint? Yeah, sure is, all right. Aw, oh, sick. They even fucking pitch shift the music when we're swimming underwater. That's cool. Looks like we have an oxygen meter. Must have one of those weird, like, rebreather ninja mask things. Can we... Okay, we can't use our sword while we're down here. I guess that makes sense. Oh, oh, ouch. That's cool. That's a nice touch. I like that. Ow! That's not a nice touch, though. Ow! <laughs> uh, anything over here? No? Okay. Oh, that's a full health refill. Okay. Come on, you're telling me there's nothing down here in this very conspicuous little pond? Uh, I don't know if I believe that. things hurt? They do not hurt. Okay, but they are there to give me my little cloud step jump thing, right? That's what it seems like anyway. Let me get a little shit.
You did get a pretty solid wall kick there. I do like that. I don't get a down slash just yet, though. I bet that's later. Oh, hey, look at that. Oh, look at a little secrety secret over here, huh? Oh, hey. Fancy. And also, <laughs> not too particularly impressive, but hey. A little secrety secret that we got a little giant green coin. Sick. Seems you wanted to wander off the beaten path. Hell yeah, well, we listened to your weird happiness story, so. The thing you just smashed instead of collecting. What do you mean? I walked into it, it just kind of smashed itself on my fist. Power seal. There are many others like that. To be honest, nah, I don't know what they do. I tell you that finding them all is optional. For that kind of adventure, go to extra challenges and I'll keep an eye out for hidden room. Who knows? I may or may not unlock an overpowered upgrade. I'll be in my shop. Okay, I'll see ya. And I see that down here. Like, I see shit that we can probably destroy once we're able to attack downwards. So, alright. We'll remember that that's back here. Oh! Dope. <laughs> Barble and Quibble, apparently I just had to see the face. <laughs> nice, thanks. Thanks, a-hole. <laughs> well, it doesn't really matter since we just, uh... Just kinda did our thing there, right? Oh, he's stealing all my money. I need that money, I think. like a thing up there. Oh no, it's just decoration. Boop. Alright, so now we got 157 big ones. Oh, chest. Oh hey, the challenge thing, right? Big mystery chest. Appear you when you smash your first power seal. Cool. Still need to spend 44! Jeez, alright. Uh upgrade, please. Uh press A while being not back in air recovery jump. That's pretty sick. Expensive, but sick. This carvel's fine for saving your life by 50%. Damn. Range attack, tap into your key line, just throw an energy shuriken with Y. Okay, yep. Abilities and shit. Uh, get some more health, I guess. Can't afford nothing else. It's all extremely expensive. Alright, what else you got? Level boss. Can you tell me about it? Uh, forget to mention there's a giant leaf monster guarding an exit. Well. Now we know. Leaf monsters only come out during a full moon. Well, fuck me, it's a full moon, isn't it? Ah, <laughs> uh, so, well, good luck. <laughs> Thanks. Fucking a-hole. Alright. Well, we're ready for it, though. We got six health instead of the five health. We're fine. Something about a leaf monster, leaf demon. I mean, come on. Oh, it's All right, it's a little. Whoa, whoa, sir. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, oh, hey, clever. Ow. Ooh. All right, I gotta drop down again. I dare you. Or not. That's cool too. Oh, there you go. Come on, buddy. Ew. Come on, buddy. Let's get, get your butt back down here so I can do this, alright? There, he's dead. <laughs> Pretty easy sight read. Suppose they don't want the uh, first boss to be too hard. Oh, plus I've got my little thing. Damn! That's an energy shuriken, to be sure. Okay. Neat. 
Oh, it's now morning. Very good. I suppose that probably just does that. It's just like, eh, whatever. <laughs> Let me guess, those... yeah, okay. Oh, well, okay. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Castlevania level four right away, huh? Okay. Oh, look at this cute little fella. It scared me, I thought you were not dead. No, I'm very much alive, somehow, after falling, like, ten stories. Have you ever seen a Phobikin? No, I guess I haven't. A tribe of builders, technically very hardworking. Every one of us is cursed by a unique fear, which we are named after. Necro. Oh, afraid of death? Fear, fear the dead and somehow ended up in the catacombs? Ironic. Yeah, I guess. Fell while trying to repair the temple ruins above and was instantly paralyzed with all this morbidity. Hey, thanks for snapping me out of it. I really should get back to work. Yeah, you, you go do that, buddy. Let's see ya. <laughs> Alright, so we got skeletons, we got... Candelabras... Spiky things. Stuff we can stand on. Bats, because of course there's bats. Ouch. Nice. Okay. Oh, well. Ooh. Okay, so that's not instant death. That's good. Those should be slashing, uh... Random walls, just to be sure here. Oh, hey, this looks good. Money. Yeah, give me all the money. I don't know what kind of the currency this is, but it's something. Oh, cool. We can hang on walls and slash. That's neat. It's the benefits of a one-handed sword, I guess. Oh, hey, look out for that. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> That's, that looks like a bigger bat, doesn't it? Oh, no, it's just a tiny one. It's a little tiny one. He looked like he was bigger. Oh, hey, what's this? Oh, shit, it's death! It's not death, is it? It's like death light. The shittier, weaker version of death. Okay, totally intended there. Alright, well we got 208 buckos now. Let's see what we can do with that. Uh, 400 for that, 80 for that. Underwater dash, press A, recovery, and reset. Sometimes drop a globe, blah blah blah. And will sometimes drop a globe, there's stores one hit point. Hey, okay. Boy, that's expensive though. 200 for that one, 200 for that one, 80 for that one. Uh, you know what? Let's max that out. Alright, what else do we got? Current area, where are we? Well, we're in the catacombs, yeah? And they, no, not really, it's pretty standard. Skeletons and bats, evil wizards, yep, and a necromancer! Okay, that was probably a necromancer then, instead of death. Spooky, cliche. <laughs> Get this area out of the way, there are more original ones lined up below. Fucking good. <clears throat> what do you do here? I study magic. You teach me? Not really. <laughs> Why not? Because <laughs> you're not ready. Of course I'm not ready. Ready for what? For magic. Come on. <laughs> no, but I meant uh, a lot harder than following a conversation. Oh, really? Uh, okay. Any stories? Tell me a story relevant to my current situation, perhaps. Poor lady had left in life save for a small shack and a pear tree. It was Madame Misery. Aw. That's miserable. Whole family ate misery, and sometimes there wasn't enough misery to go right- Well, that's- Well, jeez, okay. I, I doubt that, but alright. Visited by a starving beggar who asked whether she had any food to spare. She didn't, but her heart was as big as her situation was unfortunate. Well, okay. Can you eat a heart? I suppose you can eat a heart. Served the beggar a few clumps out of the tasteless broth she had simmering, then invited him to help himself to a few pears. Who just spoke, revealing himself to be a deity. He was disguised as a beggar to see whether there was any kindness left in the world. 
And uh, yeah, generosity offered to grant her a wish. Oh yeah, she didn't want anything, and it's immoral about living frugally. <laughs> no. <laughs> There's a lot of people who were stealing her fruits to jeopardize her chance to eat every day. This was simple. An enchantment on her pear tree so that it would trap anyone who stole from it until she decided to free them. Vine visitor granted her wish and took his leave. I am a vine, she scolded many thieves, but soon realized that most of them were starving children. I had to take it upon herself to feed and educate them, and soon became the pillar of a thriving new generation. Aww. Happy and generous man of misery got so old that her face looked like an elephant's knee. Ugh. <laughs> it's a hell of a fucking visual. And one day death came for her. Ah. Uh, Following the protocol, inquired about her last request. I'd like to eat one last pear from my tree, she said. Would you be kind enough to... Ah, clever. All right. Fuck you, death! Ha. <laughs> uh. <laughs> There's been misery in the world ever since... Oh my god, all right. <laughs> uh, hmm. <laughs> I've got mixed, mixed feelings about how that one turned out. Generosity begets misery? Ah, I don't know. It's a fairy tale for kids. I just thought the idea of death trapped in a pear tree was interesting. And also funny. Alright, that's pretty good. No. Alright, can we touch his closet yet? Uh, cabinet, whatever. Boudoir, wardrobe, whatever you want to call it. Oh, hey, look at that. Yeah, trying to get me to... Trying to sneak a little secrety secret past me. Not happening. Mm. Mm. Oh! <laughs> okay. Alright. Oh, there's our little recovery thing. I get it. Okay. All right, let's let's have a think about this before we eat shit again. Huh? Oh, I see. Duh. There's a fall through floor up there. Hey, we did it. Two out of forty-five. <laughs> Alright, so now we know, we have learned that we can get crushed by shit in its instant death, so, you know. Lessons. Alright, oh, we bought the fast swimmy bits too, that's cool. So wait, did that bridge repair itself then? Or? Oh yeah, sure did. Oh no, that thing's gonna crush me. No, it's not. Ah, <laughs> oh, they busted the... Oh no, that's still a checkpoint. Okay. Where's in charge of that bridge being? <laughs> this is crushing it. Yeah, no doubt, right? Like, we were gone for a hot second, and suddenly it's just fine. There's actually something down there? Probably not. Oop. Yeah. 
I do like that they didn't go full ass Ninja Gaiden where you have to stop entirely to slash your shit. That's good. Makes this less problematic. <laughs> look at this big fight arena. Oh look, it's Death Light again. Hey, buddy, e hey, turn around, idiot! Ah, oh, that's that doesn't even fucking let us see his face, that shithead. for that. Oh, he's dead. Oh man, those two skeletons just fucking cowarded it out there. I'm tempted to go down in that pit and see if there's actually a thing. <clears throat> oh! <laughs> One way or another. Oh, look at this fucking cocky shithead. Four dust is a bit worrying. Fuck you, man, I'm exploring! Stupid quarble or quibble or whatever the fuck his name is. Minor-ass character, getting all up in my business for dying. <laughs> oh, Kenny, come on, man. <laughs> he, he did not tell me to watch myself, so he's got that going for him, at the very least. He just obliquely recommended that I go to the shopkeeper, for no particularly good reason, I guess. It's not like I wouldn't have gone to the shopkeeper, we haven't seen him in a while, but still. Got his pound of flashy, weird crystal things, so now we can get them. Get them ourselves. Oh! Oh, that's an instant death thing? Come on, man. I know it's all spiky and shit, but. Come on. <laughs> Alright, you know what? Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get that started, and then we're gonna do that, and see what happens here. Okay, nothing much, it looks like. Just gives us extra time to- Oh, and now it's coming back! Okay. Alright. Very good. Ah! Those are instant death spikes, too?! Fuck you! Ah. Uh... Alright, so we've learned that most... Like, the, the spikes on the floor don't seem to be super instant death, do they? I, I feel like they... Oh, ouch. I feel like they're, like, four, four health or something, right? That's what it feels like to me. That's true. We might have had iframes last time. Perhaps. Ow. 
Or maybe we just had more health that time to spare, too. You know? Hard to tell. Who's to say? Who's to say? Just kind of avoid it this time. There. First try. And Dilios. Hey, there's a shopkeep. Alright. What can we get for 219 weird soul spirit bucko things? Uh, so sometimes drop that, sometimes drop that. Uh, eh, sure. What else you got? Level boss. What's the level boss? <clears throat> the necromancer. Oh, okay, death light. Very good. Very little is known. Okay, so no advice. Dodging anything that looks like evil magic. Thanks. <laughs> wow, that's incredible. I meant I all I know. <laughs> totally on my own here. Sure. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Now can we touch your cabinet? No. Okay. Oh hey, look at this fucker. Like, is he ever gonna turn around and address us, or did he put his did he put his cape on backwards and he's too fucking embarrassed to admit it? Everyone will soon fear the mighty Ruxton. Hmm. Uh huh. What now? I have a visitor. I don't have time for visitors. Well, he seems to have time for you. <laughs> Sick. Okay, just new thing you get to play with your evil lab. I do have to remind you who's in charge here. Uh, say something threatening and try not to embarrass us like he did. Alright. This dude's... I fucking love it. I'm practicing, watch this. Oh yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> fucking adorable. Uh, who dares enter my... Oh wow, yeah, it's good, great. You might want to keep workshopping that one, buddy. Ruxton the Great. Yeah, mm-hmm. Sure. Oh, hey, look out for that. Oh, yeah, we can just, uh... Oh, jeez, what the hell? This Dr. Wily-ass motherfucking platform up here? Fuck you, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah, look at you. Oh, uh, yeah, of course. Yeah, okay. Oh, oh, you're doing it again. Oh, crap. Okay. Oh. Okay. Ah! Oh, you caught me there. Good job, buddy. Oh, oh, hey, look at that. Oh, no, come back here. No, 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 this way. This way, idiot. Please. Thank you. Ah, he's one hit. Oh, shithead. I'll eat shit, Ruxton, I guess. <laughs> sure, we'll never see him again. Oh, he's still alive. I yield, well, give me your staff, then. If you yield, you need to give me something of yours. <coughs> Wait, I don't. <laughs> so this evil thing is clearly not working out for us, no matter how many skulls we slap onto ourselves. Well, you only got two skulls there. Oh, just something else. Like what? Introspection. Yeah, nice. Promise not to cause the world any harm. Ah, uh, you know what? I think I can take your word for it. 
Maybe? I don't think I can take your word for it, but we got places to be, so see ya. Every, every level tune has been a banger so far. Very good. Oh wait, I feel like there was something up there that we missed. Uh, oh, maybe not. Actually, no, maybe so. That looks like there might be something up there. Let's take a look. Ah, uh, no, see, they, they baited me a little bit. Figured that was just gonna be decoration, but no, it's a solid wall. Alright, 57 buckos. That's not enough for nothing, but let's see what, uh, what he's got to say. Anyway. <laughs> uh, excuse me. Hey, oh, Greg, it must be a sight for sore eyes after you trek in the catacombs. Yeah, I guess. I mean, it's pretty and green. I think the best of it, this place is as close to a day off as you'll get on this adventure. I'll try this and know something so cheerful existed. It says more about your mindset than about the world. What do you want? About time shards. Yeah, exactly. What are these? I guess they're time shards. Touch the unidentified magic object first. Nice. Time shards. Use them to augment your abilities. How does it work? Exactly the way we have been doing it so far. You give me the time shards and I do what you, whatever you bought. I'm curious, and I'm busy. <laughs> Alright, lay on another awesome story here, buddy. Yeah, but we're like in the void between time or something, aren't we? So what does it matter? Aw. Alright. I figured he would just tell me not to touch his cabinet again. We'll give it like a couple... We'll give it a couple things before we go touch the cabinet again. We'll make him think we're not gonna touch his cabinet again. And then we'll, we'll make it a surprise. What the hell is this budget-ass Medusa head shit? Oh, that's cool. Not even ah, uh, not even qualified to be called a Medusa head. It's just a weird ass whatever. Oh, look out for this fucker! Oh, hey, oh, oh, hey, whoa, hey. Yeah, whoa, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh, come on. Uh, is, he, is that it? Is he done? He's done. That's progress over to the right there. Oh, what the hell? Oh, creepy. Huh. Some other exit from the catacombs, perhaps? Alright, how much we got? 
All right, we got well over 200. That's good. That's good for some. Let's see. Uh -huh. How much for these next ones? 320. Thousand. Coming damage of two or more will now be reduced to one by one. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay. Sometimes blah 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 blah. All right. Well, buy what we can afford. Oh, that's not a. <laughs> that's not a thing we can jump through. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Perhaps. Yep. Okay. Just a normal checkpoint. Oh, 
Oh! Oh. <laughs> Huh? I don't think that's not enough for nothing, is it? Nope, because now we need at least 250? Oh, yeah. And or 400. Alright, what else we got? Oh, we're up to the boss already, huh? Plays in a pretty good trail here. What's up next? Bamboo Creek, that's a good one. Uh, the layout, you know, blah 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 blah. <laughs> I'm afraid to hallucinate patterns and try to make sense of them. Well, this place is like your day off, so? Well, would you fight a boss on your day off? I don't know, you know, gotta keep sharp. Gotta keep sharp, though. Alright, you know what? It's been a couple times. Would you let me touch the cabinet now? Ah, jerk. Oh yeah, I saw that little path over there. When we get to it, it's now the big question. Mm. Nope, can't climb up there. Alright. Are they really gonna pull this no boss business here? <laughs> okay, hey, all right, R respect. I respect that they leaned into it. Oh man, this is a sick jam too. Hmm, yeah, I see. They're gonna give me like a, a little floaty sheet or something, right? Old sort of parachute. Oh, a bit. <laughs> yeah, it was way too wide. No way I can make the jump. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah, yeah. Squirrel clam entered a way to soar through skies. Yeah, it's a giant sheet attached to your arms and legs, right? <laughs> You're so wingsuit. <laughs> That's an all day all airborne to fly for the glide. The player every guy is to fly upwards. Alright. Uh, sure. Uh, oh, we got, got nothing. Any more stories? Uh, wingsuit. You bet. Hold A. Why was it free? It was mandatory to your progression. Can't save the world if you're stuck in a pit. Or more freebies? Only way to find out. Yeah, what do you mean? I mean, it's blah blah blah, yada yada yada. Okay. <clears throat> Tell me about Howland Grotto. People live here? Okay, brothers, a long time ago. They built structures, blah 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 blah. I believe the wind is the breath of God. Anything else you know? I should know. No, it's gliding time. <laughs> Makes sense regardless of whether you had already used the wingsuit to ride the wind tunnels. <laughs> Alright, I want another story. Once was a king who had a pretty rough time managing his emotions. Oh man, that's a fucking mood. Experiencing nothing but extremes, he would always feel either too excited or too depressed, causing him to never get anything done. Just as he was about to lose all hope of getting his life together, and blah 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 blah, he was visited by a traveling relic hunter. Read the king of as well as the relic hunter gave him a magic ring, promising it would make him sad when he is happy, and happy when he is sad. Well, doesn't that just reverse everything though? Like, that doesn't help. It worked like a literal charm, and the kingdom became very prosperous as a result. The king passed away, the castle would promptly grabbed the rings, trying to try and understand the source, yada yada yada, it turned out the ring wasn't magic at all. How could a non-magic ring make you sad when you were happy and happy when you were sad? Because it's a fucking placebo effect. Psychosomatic. Right? I had a small inscription that read, This too shall pass. Yeah, right. More or less. That's deep. More than deep, I just gave you the cure for anxiety through fairy- Oh, if only it were that easy. 
<laughs> Only it were that easy. Alright, let's see what we got here. Oh, fucking sick! Alright, now, can we use that? Go back and use that to get to that one place. Or uh, can we not go back levels? Ah, yellow shits. Of course not. Well, now we know we can do that, so that's good. So we got a little bit more distance on our jumps now, is effectively what it is. Ow! Right. Hmm. Leaves a curious hole in the ceiling. Right? Oh, can we do that with one of these? Ah, oh, come on, really? You're gonna tease me like that? Ah, oh, you jerks. Man. Oh, there we go. Let's say we've got some prime real estate for secrety secrets and they're not doing it. Oh, gee, whoa, jeez. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Oh, oh. Okay, well. <laughs> oh, boy. That's funny. Doc, crap, now I gotta get back through here, though. Oh, no, no, I don't. See ya. <laughs> needs actual skill when you can just brute force through the the puzzle, right? Jeez, just barely scraping by there. Yep. I'm really not gonna put anything down here. Any little shits. Huh? There we go. 
How am I liking the game? This is pretty solid. It's a good, no-nonsense platformer so far, which I enjoy. Uh, 322, okay, we got some money here. It's just this one, concealed chainmail chest plate. Checkpoints now restore health up to five, restore all king, or wingsuit attack. Press the X while gliding with the wingsuit to attack downwards. All right, so there's our down smash, right? Um, but I feel like we could probably do some more health. There we go. Fine, I'll go all the way up. <laughs> oh, oh, well. <laughs> I feel like 10 deaths this far in isn't too bad. Oh, well. In See, that would have been a good spot for a secrety secret there, too. Missed opportunities. Hey, hey, they got this one, though. Nice job.
28. Is that enough? No, we need like 240, don't we? 250. Oh, now we can get this. Yeah, 150. Hell yeah. <clears throat> now we can attack downward with our wingsuit. Oh, you got level boss. I hope you're up for a challenge. Let's see. Because something big is up next. What? Well, I don't know. <laughs> so you're about to fight someone who understands that the best defense is a good defense. Okay. Who? Wish I could tell you. Well, why can't you? Anyway, three questions are up. Carry on. <laughs> as far as there are three questions, drill. Sorry, that's beyond your three questions. <laughs> uh, funny shit. Funny shit. The best defense is a good defense, huh? Okay, yeah, oof, yeah, alright. Okay. Oop. Yeah. Oh, well, okay. Oh, I only did one damage, which we do, it's branch to town. Yeah, I'm gonna get away before he does that. Yeah, okay, gotcha. <laughs> Caught me looking. Caught me looking, little shithead. Ah, <laughs> psyched me out yet again. <laughs> Whee! Whee! Ah, nice, okay. Whoa! <laughs> That took a little bit more coordination. I like that, though. <laughs> Thanks for destroying my golem. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome? <laughs> Talking about I've been digging through these caverns for centuries and you just randomly engage. <laughs> no way, way, <laughs> no way. <laughs> you know what, fair enough. I see how you could have thought I was a threat. The survival instincts kicked in a little. I understand, it's all good. I'm sorry I destroyed your golem. Don't worry about it. Man, I'm sorry. <laughs> that was mistakes. How do I get out of here? Oh, I'll just the win for you. Good luck on your quest. Thanks, Betty. <laughs> Leave using the wind tunnel. Don't mind her missing this day. Ah, oh, that's funny. I like it. That's funny as hell. <laughs> I 
I feel a little bit bad about that, but not bad enough to to go back and do anything about it. Ow! Hey! Oh, hey! Oh, look at this. Clever. Too bad that undid our progress. <laughs> eh? Ah. <laughs> Well, <laughs> yeah, 150 isn't going to be enough for nothing, is it? No. Nope. All right, what's he got to say, though? Current area. Oh, the coast stream marsh. <laughs> Here, you tell me about it. Once I had to look uh, look through the mud for an artifact, gave up pretty quickly. What happened? I said it used to be ruled by a monstrosity called the Primal Fear until a brave monk defeated it. Oh, for my mighty indeed. With its final breath, the Primal Fear cursed the monk forever. It also says the monk still rooms the marsh to this day. Turning interest for in the fun guy. Oh, great. Any of that is true, but add yeah, pick up the pace. What about the Elmer Golem? I still- I kind of murdered that Golem, but I uh, probably shouldn't have. I think it wasn't evil, it was just digging away. What? Kill all- I mean, all these messengers that were killed? All a misunderstanding. <laughs> Alright, how about another story? Use another story. There once was a messenger who kept asking for stories. Hmm, can't relate, but alright, go on. No, he's supposed to move on with this very important quest, you just couldn't get enough. Now, people were living in the void outside of time, is connected to all eras. And so, at first, I was happy to share the missing legends. At first, though. Uh-huh. Esther never seemed to appreciate the morals or takeaways, so the shopkeeper decided to be done with the story story. <laughs> the end. <laughs> what a great story. No way, I like your stories. Come on. Aw. Alright, well, if you're not going to tell me stories, I'm just going to keep touching your cabinet. Sick down attack, actually. Ow. Why does every game have to have a bird? If we start seeing conveyor belts, I don't know. I might just nope out of this. This is Super Mario World bullshit, come on. So wait, can I climb up there somehow? Enough height? Yeah, look like it. Nope. Hmm. Yeah, I bet that's a thing somehow, right? It's gotta be. Let's see. Ah, uh, something there would be a. Maybe a bird or something we could make do with this. Mm. 
Yeah, the, the little, like, partial ghost rings were definitely a, a thing. At least they got different sized ones. That's neat and exciting. Fifty? That's not for nothing, is it? Oh no, it is. Hell yeah. Ah, oh, he's not. He doesn't have any more stories for us right now. What a shit. You'd figure, living in the void between time or whatever the fuck it is, like he he'd have nothing but stories to tell. is one way to do it. Oh, what the hell? Just, uh, well, that's not gonna work very well, is it? approach here, probably. Yeah. There, well, since a fallen up ahead. Fallen? 
How we call messengers whose quest came to a tragic end. Their power corrupted by demon magic. It's so serious all of a sudden. Doesn't get more serious than a rogue messenger about to unleash on you. These stories about a monk, if it really is that one monk. Something something mushrooms, right? Alright, very good. Uh, can we upgrade anything else? No. How much do we need? 550? 1,000? Or 400? Alright. It's fine. I need to get out of here. This place is filled with monsters. <laughs> the collection didn't scare you? Uh, no. They didn't scare me, necessarily. They're kind of gross, but they didn't scare me. Hm? Huh? Ah, nah. Oh. Uh, okay. Interesting. I had that little health. <laughs> Oops. Easy, easy. Ah! <laughs> all right, all right. I guess we'll use some strategy this time, huh? Maybe. Ah, <laughs> oh, come on. Got an equivalent quarble 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 
quillable. Uh, naturally, of course, right? <laughs> that makes no sense. <laughs> Out of here? You bet. See ya. <laughs> Damn it. Well, in universe explanation why shit doesn't die, I guess, right? We did it! Made it to the Searing Crags. It's gonna be the, the natural fire zone here. Yeah, of course it is. Alright, we're gonna get a grappling hook of some description, right? Into the base of the mountain. Almost there. You know what this means? I don't know. Another dialogue <laughs> What? Oh, you're just gonna try and steal my character. <laughs> Is there a prize? No. Well, you do. Plus, you know, they're real to make the climb without the rope dart. What we're thinking? Everyone will probably just end up on the grappling hook. Okay, you know what? Fine, whatever. There's B to throw, try to rings, lanterns, walls, and enemies. Oh, uh, yeah. Can I do anything with 139? I cannot. What else we got? The monk. Not that monk. This promising messenger did not die, but instead cursed forever. Queen of Quills. How did that happen? Fail for another time. Alright, tell me about the grappling hook. We had to tell your boss that your little experiment went wrong, permanently impacting one of your colleagues. Oops. Hey, I heard that! <laughs> you use it on rings, lanterns, walls, and enemies. Go nuts. Uh, how about another story? Once there was a village struggling to figure out who the werewolf was. People kept dying every full moon and very gorily at that. Gorily a word? I guess it is. One day a brave young couple decided to venture into the woods. He would be the hunter and she the bait. One would expect from such a cliched setting they got separated and our hunter faced off alone against the beast near a cliff. Fifteen minutes of a literal uphill battle, huh? Hunter managed to chop off the werewolf's paw with his axe just as he was attempting to choke him. Hunter then ran for his life, severed paws to the ooh. The time he got there, I got home, the sun was up, and he found his fiance bleeding, also badly wounded. Was she also missing a hand? Yeah, gee, hmm. <laughs> uh, the werewolf bride. <laughs> really? Nah, not really. Put the reveal in the title. <laughs> uh, good story. Good story. Alright, so we got. Oh, okay, it's not. A terribly long hook shot, grappling hook, whatever. Oh, damn, though. Oh, that's pretty sick, though. Huh. Oh, well. <laughs> One way to go about it. Whoa! Ah! Ah! Oh. <laughs> All right, let's take a, a little bit of getting you. Whoa, jeez. Whoa, jeez. Ah. Uh. <laughs> yeah. All right. So how does one most effectively use this? I guess we can just hook on to shit. Alright. Alright, 
neat little bit of movement tech we got now. Any more stories? I feel like that was too short to get to the boss thing. Yeah, okay. There we go. 41. Damn. A lot of shit we're missing here. Or there's a lot of game to go. Either way. Oh, well. <laughs> okay, so it boosts us along. We attach to a ring there. Oh, and then we auto-hit on the things, huh? Interesting. Auto hit everything, like even enemies. In it, looks like definitely just stick full on to walls. Oh, excuse me, sir. Yeah, we do auto hit enemies, and then we bounce off. Okay, I see. Nice. Oh, no. Yep. Yeah, ow! Shit. Oh, hey, look at that. Is that really a secret? Uh, feels like that's a pretty low... low-calorie secret there. Although, I see what they're pointing out, though. It's like a little fall-away thing there. Okay, let's try to remember where that's positioned. Is still a little low, and I don't think we're at the boss just yet, are we? No, okay. So, about right here. Hmm. 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 They would have expected, like, right here or something, but maybe not. So if I fall down here... Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> I do keep track of that. Oh, well. That's a good place for a checkpoint, then. Hmm. Well, son of a... The fucking rocks fall, everybody dies. There. Wapa, right? <laughs> bit more used to the actual distance we can do with this thing. As it turns out, it's a little bit longer, or a little bit shorter rather, than I expected several times. Alright, 262, can we do anything with that? No, we need like 3 hundo or whatever, yeah? 4 hundo, damn. 
Little death dude is soaking me for it. That looks suspiciously breakable down there, huh? Aw, oh, come on! Boo! <laughs> mm. yeah, it's the pre-boss one, yeah. Boss is up? Surely you mean the boss is. Oh, okay. <laughs> the bosses are up. Fight more than one? Hell yeah. More like personal training than an actual fight. But I don't let me ruin it. Thanks. Great info. Stupid shopkeeper. Not worth nothing. Ah. Very good then. <laughs> Life is a blast. I'm just seeing adventures pass by here. You remember humans? I do. They're almost as interesting as obvious foreshadowing. Oh, look, a human. Who would have thought? <laughs> hey, do we really need to fight? Like, we've already destroyed one thing indiscriminately. Do we really need to. Colossuses. Oh my good gravy. Alright. <laughs> Come on. Yes, I'm the carrier. <laughs> the runner. He's going, pretty sure it's the Envoy, ah? Uh, okay, one more? Or is it comedy comes in threes, right? The Emissary, okay, very good. We're we gonna go another round here? Yes! Keep going, please! <laughs> ah, that's pretty close, though. That's funny. Ah, I see, okay. Whoa! Whoa! Buddy! Oh! Jeez! Okay. Caught me on that one. Good job. Uh oh. Whoa! <laughs> Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I see that. Let's try it. Yeah, nice try, buddy. Almost got me. Yep. <laughs> 
Ah. Jerk. Oh. Ah. Uh-oh. Ah! <laughs> Ah, you little shit. Yeah, it's not like we're really losing any money here because of the whole boss fight and such, right? <laughs> All right, that dude's out of it, probably. Ah, crap. Ah! Yeah. Come on, do your little charge thing. There you go. That's the easiest one to avoid. We get it, you're almost dead. Come on. Ah. <laughs> uh. Hell yeah, I think I need to get up the mountain, right? What? what? <laughs> ow! Ow! Alright, <laughs> 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 uh. where the hell did I go? Oh, there I am. <laughs> No worse for wear. Oh good, ice physics. Oh good, ice physics. My favorite kind of physics.
Ow. Shit. Eh, at least they don't seem too obnoxious this time. What's that over there? Hmm. Well, I don't like that, though. Ah! Uh-oh. Ah! No! <laughs> uh, ah. There's gotta be something over there. They wouldn't put one of them hook little thing in the bobs over there without something being good, huh? Ah. Something to it. Gotta be something to it. Ah! Oh, come on! There was nothing! Oh, no! We wasted it! <laughs> Damn it. Alright, fine. Maybe there's nothing over there. Maybe it was just all a bait. All a bait is what it was. Boo. Alright. 333, that's not enough. Is it? No. Talk to our favorite shopkeeper. Our only shopkeeper. Finally near the mountain summit. Looks like my adventure is about to come to an end. I doubt that. I don't think we're gonna put this away in about two hours, are we? <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> All right, hey, it's cold and slippery out there. Be careful. How about another story? Once there was a village settled in a land of ice and snow. Food was scarce, but not as much as heat. The elders spoke of a lush grove, blah blah blah. The only problem was that grove lay on the other side of a permanent hailstorm, which would take weeks to cross. One day, a brave couple left their young boy behind to attempt what the village called the trek. They got all the way to the grove and confirmed its existence and come back to the village and lead everyone to a better life. With all who attempted the trek, they didn't come back. Following decades, the boy grew up with only one goal in mind, to take on the trek himself, find his parents alive at the grove, or dead in the ice. Again, they may have simply been ill-prepared. He trained every day until he was five years older, blah, 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 set off on his own attempt. First bite wasn't as bad as he thought as it would be, but the ice-cold soil slowly worked its way into his bones. Days of walking through the storm without, any, without realizing it, it was all just a metaphor playing out in his troubled young adult mind. He stumbled upon a, no pun intended, chilling sight. <laughs> oh, boy. Parents froze him solid in a block of ice. Shock was too strong. He remained there, cursing, pondering, cursing again, until the cold took him to become part of the ice block. The end. <laughs> what a great story. What do you mean what? That's the end of the story. <laughs> Sometimes stories can be harsh. It might just be the very message they mean to convey about life. Oh boy, that's a bit too true, isn't it? Think about what transpired and find your own takeaways. There are no wrong answers as long as they ring true to you. Maybe. This one really felt like a pointless story. <laughs> this might be the case that for you it was. Or you could consider the implications of our adventure being five years older than his parents when he found them. Can you imagine gazing upon those who are your protectors and mentors, realizing that they are actually younger than you? Heard the truth wise ones as you aspired to be like. Harsh reality. Oh boy. This is getting depressing. Physically crystallized you, mentally shattered for your very eyes. They really found inner peace already when you knew them, meaning you blah 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 blah, and simply excellent actors. <laughs> Oof. Oof. Uh, that's rough. Okay, maybe we don't ask for more stories. That one's kind of... Oof. Oh, alright. Ow! Oh, no, don't you dare. Fucking jumpy-ass tooth thing. Yep, ooh, nice, okay. Ah! Oh, I only had one health left. <laughs> well. Hmm.
Oh, oh, I see. Grip it on for a hot second there. That's kind of neat. Hey, wait a minute. Statue of the shopkeeper thing over here. Probably just a decoration. Ah, I bet I'm gonna get like a little fire ability or something, right? Seems to be the thing. We got enough for something, yeah? Yeah. Fuck you, Corbel. You're only getting half my shit this time. Ah, uh, he doesn't have anything new for me. Mm -hmm. Kinda weird, this one wasn't extremely hidden at all. Weird. right here. Yeah. 
Ah, uh oh. View. Uh, uh, uh oh. Hey! <laughs> Duh. -oh. to go up and around anyways jerks uh oh uh, uh, uh okay <laughs> isn't enough but oh he's gone are we gonna have to fight him oh cool we can touch his cabinet he's not here ah damn it <laughs> come on man oh uh, fuck you <laughs> come on ten nine eight okay let's see six five Four, three, two, one. There's a go. Aw, come on. <laughs> you little shit. Aw, oh, come on. Just let me open the cabinets. I <laughs> stayed late on a Friday night and started writing optional dialogue to add comedic value for those who will bother looking. Imagine reading his ramblings. Let me guess. That's what we're doing now. <laughs> Come on, just let me open it. Maybe. <laughs> oh, really? Damn it. Ah, oh, come on, man. <laughs> and he's not even around for me to buy shit from. What an a-hole. Can't have any fun. Oh, hey, look at that. It's the sh shop. One of those is the shopkeeper. Yeah, the one on the right is the shopkeeper, right? <laughs> we can do the thing. Uh, okay, here. Higher. <laughs> there. How's that? There you go. <laughs> oh, 
Oh shit! That looks rad as hell. Oh, damn. Oh, come on, I want to open the cabinet first. If I'm going to die in there, I want to open the cabinet first. Come on. The Tower of Time. All right. Tower of Time, you say. Well. Uh, okay. Is it... I hope it just saves us here. It's, oh, jeez. Oh, we out. All right. Excellent. Good, because this seems like a good time. Haha. <laughs> Pun totally not really intended to uh, to cut it off for tonight, and then we'll resume next time. Well, this is fun. All right, this might be a shorty, it seems like, but uh, but we'll we'll continue on with this. So I'll do it for tonight. Next stream will be Wednesday night, 7 p.m. CDT, with more The Messenger, since we just got to the Tower of Time and all that. Uh, Thursday night, 7:30 p.m. CDT is Shmup Book Club. So Eskatos or Metal Black or Dodonpachi. Friday we're off. Saturday we're off. Sunday, 7 p.m. CDT. More long play, so more dead cells. Very fun, very fun. But that'll do it for tonight. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you on Wednesday. Bye-bye.